Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, you know. I just did the 24-hour message for the members. What do we have for a message today? A long one. Well, I don't know if it's a long one, but usually they're pretty long. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Ten of Swords, right off the mat. So this is the end of suffering. It's the death of a situation. Okay, it is. This is an ending of some sort. There's been suffering. There's been pain. There's been a betrayal or somebody's been stabbed in the back or they've hit rock bottom or something has happened. This can be, you know, an illness, um, a betrayal, you know, um, could be the, a financial situation, whatever it is that it's over because this is the death. This is it. The Knight of Cups and the Star card reversed. So the Knight of Cups is somebody that is given to act on feelings, listening to their intuition, acting on uh, whatever it is that is in their heart, you know, their feelings. Typically, you know, the Knight of Cups is an actual person that is making some sort of moves you know, they're doing something based on, well, for one, their intuition, and for two, whatever they're, whatever they're feeling at the moment. Uh, the star card reversed could definitely be an illness. It could be uh, a lack of hope, a lack of inspiration, feeling hopeless, maybe. This is feelings, hopeless. Maybe feeling a, a lack of inspiration. Feeling like, I don't know, I feel like it's emotional. I do feel like it is an emotional. We do have an ending here of some sort. The end of suffering. We got somebody here that needs to have faith. They need to believe, okay? Believe in miracles. Believe. We have somebody here that is maybe looking for love. The Knight of Cups is somebody that typically is looking for love. That has a big heart that, you know, is looking for love. But feeling hopeless. Feeling doubt, maybe even. Um, there could be an offer that is here or is coming. Or an opportunity for love or emotional fulfillment but there could be fear maybe there's fear of rejection or fear of not being good enough or some sort of guilt or feeling ashamed or worried about the appearances there's definitely some sort of fear here there's a need to heal there's a need to have hope open your heart Express your feelings. What's the worst that could happen? Anyhow, the star. The star reversed is, why is this happening? Why now? Um, you may have somebody that's looking for something, but they don't, I don't know, there's a hopeless energy here. There could be an ending of a relationship. I mean, the Knight of Cups represents relationships. There could be the ending of a relationship. It's completely over. There could be a new opportunity here. 
but there's a there's a feeling of I don't know shame guilt self-doubt hopelessness anyhow I keep on changing it there's an ending here that maybe it's like oh my god I can't believe this is happening or there's been an ending and now there's an opportunity here but there's no faith in the opportunity because of what has happened that has brought somebody down anyhow that is the end of suffering right there chariot and the chariot is moving moving forward going somewhere finding the discipline taking control mastering emotions strong determination to move forward from a painful situation we have somebody here that is definitely going somewhere they're leaving a painful situation behind this could literally be travel it could be moving uh, going a distance taking a journey facing those fears facing the challenges facing the opposition This is, this is finding the discipline more than anything. Maybe we have somebody here who's been at rock bottom or they've had a significant painful experience. It is over. The chariot is a time of transformation, movement, headed towards victory with that mastery of emotions and strong determination and willpower. So somebody's finding their willpower, getting in the driver's seat, taking back control, going somewhere, you know facing their fears it's like I'm not gonna let this hold me back there could be an arrival there could definitely be some sort of arrival there could also be a departure somebody could be leaving a, a situation that is over but they are definitely they could also be you know they've already left and now they're moving forward this is a movement forward no longer interested in that situation that was the end of the reading yesterday it's funny how it happens now I, I'm not interested in this I'm not interested in staying down I'm not interested so somebody's giving up they're giving up on a painful situation it's a it's a dead end this is a dead end so we have an individual that's no longer interested in in the suffering and the pain anyway it's over this is over There, like it's interesting that I saw that Ten of Pentacles that maybe it is a financial loss if it's not a financial loss it could have to do with a person typically the page pages are younger people or somebody that is not very grown up they're very immature it can be a grown up but somebody acts like a child somebody that lacks integrity doesn't have moral backbone doesn't want to work um, isn't practical doesn't want responsibility um, doesn't want to accept responsibility you know has no commitment doesn't commit themselves anyhow Page, pages are either you know it's kind of like a child it's somebody children want to play you know they don't and it can go all the way up to your older ages you know when you're older I mean children don't if you I mean it's kind of like the McDonald's or the Wendy's or all the you know no offense or anything if you work there but you know you think about all the teenagers that work there any restaurant and this I don't know where this is coming from but you know the or any establishment Usually, I mean, yeah, there's some that are doing a good job, but the majority are playing. You know, they don't care about their customers. Uh, they don't care. The younger people, they don't have the morals. They don't have the experience. They don't, they don't care. Somebody could be losing a position as well. They could be losing a position because they don't care. They're not doing the work. They're not doing the job. Somebody could be quitting or just giving up on something. Whatever is happening, 
it's over. There's no work being done. There's no commitment. There's no interest in it anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Dead end. It's not worth it. It's not worth invested in that dead tree, that dead end. There's no growth. You can't make it come back. It's it's dead. Whatever it is. It, it's over. It's no going back to it. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. No longer interested in focusing or putting in any effort at all to that painful situation that has brought you down seriously this is literally and it could be feelings because the, the feeling hope is back to the feelings of knight of cups it's feelings it's it's back to the feelings oh my god why is this there could be an ending that is happening because you know i'm looking for love i'm looking for something more you know you know anyhow if it's not love it could definitely have to do with money it could have to do with finances it could be both Anyhow, this is, could be a dead-end job. Something could definitely uh, be coming to a stop. Anyhow, no longer interested in that. It's over. There's nothing left. It's time to relocate. It's time, Or it's time to go someplace else. Time to plant those seeds someplace else. Not doing effort. This is unrealistic. It's not practical. It's not practical. It's not. Something could be coming to a close, a phase. Somebody's making a decision, I gotta say, to go in a completely do, new direction. I mean, there's there's some sort of travel movement, leaving it behind, no longer investing, no longer going down that path, not interested, don't want it. Oh my God, literally. Oh my God, look at the stress. I can't believe this has happened. This is a nightmare. This is waking up and realizing. It's literally waking up from a nightmare. A dark, dark, dark situation. And there is some sort of fear. There is some sort of anxiety. There's worry. There's stress. There's. This is like a oh my God moment. Somebody may be realizing something, you know, about... A situation maybe it had short-lived success or they're realizing something about an individual that maybe this person was a player or they act like a child or they're not interested in commitment or you know they wasted a lot of time and effort investing in this dead end This is a realization. Oh my God. And that star card oh my, in reverse is oh my God as well. It's like why is this happening now? There could be a significant loss. Now if you add those together, we get the eight of pentacles reversed. Could be a loss of job, loss of money. Definitely not putting in any effort, not doing any work at all. Not working, not working. It's time to go. This is not working. It is time to move on. It's time to go. And this is a realization. Oh. Two of Cups reverse. Detaching from a partnership. Now this could be a work partnership. It could be a friendship. could be a lover. could be a relationship. Oh my God. This partnership is not working out. This could be a fight. There's disharmony. Um, not on the same page. Maybe neither one of these people have the same feelings that they used to have for each other. Oh my God realizing something about a partnership that is not unified it's one-sided or it's not even one-sided it's like it's totally not on the same page headed into new territory something's being dug up as well so something is being dug up i don't know how that resonates with you 
Maybe somebody's um, what they've done is immoral. Something about being not moral. There could be uh, a lack of integrity here. Somebody's been doing something without integrity and it's being, it's coming out. Leaving a situation, moving is definitely moving. There's nothing left. Somebody could be losing their job. They could be, maybe they, it could happen even, I, I gotta say for some, it, it's something that they had that they're losing and it's because of a lack of common sense or not doing the work or not acting with integrity is causing this loss. Not doing the work that they were supposed to do or doing something without conscience immorally. Or it may just have somebody say, it's like, take this job and shove it. Or, uh, I don't want to be in this partnership anymore. You know, that, whatever it is. This is like, uh, it's over or whatever it is. Somebody, or it, it literally, in, it, somebody could be being let go as well. Because they're just not putting in any effort. It's time to move. Somebody may be being told to move or it's time to go. Mm. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed is lack of commitment, unhealthy, not practical. Again, there could definitely be a financial loss here due to somebody's lack of common sense. I'm sorry, but lack of practicality, um, not committed to doing the work, not building, not interested in building. Somebody's not interested in building. They don't want to do the work. They don't want the job. They don't want the position or they're losing the position because they don't want to learn the skills or they don't want to commit themselves. There's definitely a lack of commitment here. Oh my God. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles reversed. Definitely irresponsible. We got somebody here that doesn't want responsibility. They don't, they don't want the responsibility. Something's coming to a halt. It's coming to a stop. This is a dead end for sure. And that's like that dead end road. You get to the, you, 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 this is a stop. It's a, this is it. Oh my God. I know I keep saying that, but whoa, it is what it is. Sun card reversed. The sun card reversed is no, it's a no answer. There's no growth. This is not happy. It's sad. It's, it's false impressions. It's loneliness due to disillusionment. It's not seeing things clearly. It's being in a dark place. This could be somebody that has a self-image problem as well. We may have somebody here that's obsessed with their looks. They're obsessed with their body. And we may have somebody that's no longer interested in the outside appearances. They're no longer interested in what is not real. There's some sort of darkness here. Obsessed, obsessed as well. Obsessed with something. Somebody has been obsessed. But we have a, we have a no, no, there's no commitment here. This isn't practical. It's not realistic. There's no, there's no growth here. This is dark. It's a dark situation. There could definitely be a rejection here or somebody's losing their position. They're losing, you know, something of significance. And it could have to do because of their vibration or their mindset. <coughs> I mean, the sun card is a low vibration in reversed. We have somebody here that's been procrastinating. They've been extremely stubborn. I feel like they've been obsessed with holding on to something, not willing to do the work to break free. 
this is like not breaking free not but but something is happening we do have a significant ending here we do have movement it's not worth investing in this this is a dead end oh my god this is an awakening it's waking up and seeing something about a partnership that is not practical it's this is not happiness there's no growth there could be a loss here there definitely could be a loss here there's poor health. There could even be some food issues or eating issues here. Definitely unhealthy. There's there's grieving and fear. What well, maybe there's fear of being alone of or never being loved or you know, really in your feelings about not finding the happiness or not finding the one putting in effort into something that is not interested because of that loneliness due to your disillusionment. Or because of looks. Worried about looks. Worried about outside appearances. If somebody doesn't like you because you're too fat or you're too skinny or you don't or you're whatever the case is or you don't you know I'll dressed up or whatever or you're too dressed up then they're not meant to be with you adios don't worry about it don't worry about your don't worry about it it's not about looks it's about who you are as a person The end of putting in any sort of effort to something that has been hurting you. This is waking up and seeing something about a partnership that is not bringing happiness. And there's also a lot of uh, hopelessness about not being happy or about being alone or about not being good enough. Maybe there's self-doubt or feeling ashamed or feeling, you know, like you're not, I don't know, good enough. Looks are superficial and that's why the sun is reversed. Oh, it's very superficial. Queen of Cups. And the tower. The tower is a major disruption. This is a realization, an instant realization. It's a wake up call. It's a crack upside the head. Okay? And this is expressing feelings, um, expressing feelings, expressing love, opening the heart. Listen to your heart, follow your intuition. The tower is a shock. It is a surprise. It's a profound life change. This is an awakening. It's, it's a disruptive, life-changing event. You may not see it coming because this is not seeing it. Something could be happening. The, the tower is universal forces. Something, and maybe everything, and everything does happen for a reason. Maybe whatever didn't work out because somebody wasn't ready to grow up or they weren't ready to do the work or whatever the case is. We have an instant realization. We have somebody here that whose heart and intuition is really speaking to them. Looking for love. The tower is an event that is universally driven. Okay, so this is a shock. We have a shock. We have a, a, a major disruption here. This is life changing. It, ha it could be in the love department. 
We have somebody here that is not happy at all. There's false impressions. I gotta say, with that tower right around the corner, we have a life change. Expect the unexpected. Instant realization, instant revelation, major shakeup, major life change. You're going to be feeling disruption. You're going to be feeling shook up. Because we have an instant realization that changes everything or something happens that changes everything. Good luck. <laughs> 